Hey guys, what's going on? iOS 8.1 beta was just released to developers, and in this video I'll be going over everything that's new, so let's go ahead, jump in, and take a look. Okay, so I've just installed iOS 8.1 onto my iPhone 6, and I'm gonna unlock my phone, and we're gonna see what the first change is. I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure I know what the first change is, and yeah, I was right. Apple changed the iBooks icon, uh, so the book has now more of a rounded shape to it. So we saw this iBooks icon on all of the ads and all of the pictures uh, when Apple was showing off the iPhone 6, for example, on their website and all the posters at the Apple Store. And we were wondering why we didn't have this iBooks icon, uh, but now in iOS 8.1, Apple has updated the iBooks icon, so the book has now more of a rounded look to it instead of that more squared off look. So that was the first change in iOS 8.1, the change the iBooks icon. Now let's move on to the second change. Okay, so the second change is in Notification Center, and if we scroll down to the bottom of Notification Center and click on Edit, so if you do have third-party Notification Center widgets, uh, you can see that the app icons are a lot larger, so you can see them a lot better. So just a slight change to make the UI look a bit better, uh, but the app icons, when you are changing your Notification Center widgets, are a bit bigger in iOS 8.1. So number three is the ability to change individual apps privacy settings. So usually if you wanted to change the privacy settings on your device, you'd have to go into settings and then privacy. But now you can scroll all the way down in settings and it shows all the apps on your device. So let's just choose Twitter right here. And as you can see, we have all these options for Twitter, like location, photos, camera. These are all privacy settings that you can toggle individually. So now let's choose another app like Subway Surf. Now this one doesn't have as many options, but if Subway Surfers is using up a lot of internet, you can turn off use cellular data. So a lot of options when you are uh, configuring individual apps privacy settings. So number four is under settings, general, and keyboards, and it is a toggle all the way at the bottom that allows you to toggle on and off dictation. So if you find yourself constantly hitting that dictation button when you are typing, I do that a lot, and you find dictation quite annoying and you never use it, you can simply toggle it off in the settings. So the fifth change is the return of the camera roll. So Apple eliminated the recently added folder and they have replaced it with the camera roll. So the camera roll is all the photos and videos that have been taken on this device. And just below that is photo stream. Now photo stream is all the photos that have been uploaded to photo stream and that are all viewable on all your devices. So camera roll is back and it is going to eliminate a lot of confusion in the photos app. So guys, those are all the changes found in iOS 8.1 beta. Definitely stay tuned to my channel for more coverage on this and more iOS news and Apple news. Thank you guys for watching. My name is Mike, and I'll see you in the next video.